YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, you guys. How are y'all doing today? I hope it's been good. Um, it's been a long day. Had some work. It was a, it was a pretty heavy day. I didn't get home till too late, but we're here. We're here with a new upload. I got a new build for you guys. So if you are new, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You know, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get monetized and turn on post notice so you don't miss an upload. We're constantly uploading on this channel builds gameplay i haven't put out too much gameplay just because like i only play 1v1s and i'm kind of getting like tired of it i need people to play with so if you want to play just uh let me know in the comment section but yeah hit that like button subscribe if you're new and i got a new build for you guys today we got a lockdown i haven't done a lockdown in a little minute and i've been reviewing the pro tune builds and i came up with my own lockdown build today so let's go ahead and get right into it off rip we got position shooting guard height 6'6 six, six, weight 218 pounds wingspan seven foot baby seven foot wingspan is that's crazy like i really i think that's um for lockdown though you gotta have a big or you gotta have a long wingspan bro <laughs> but anyways you guys know how i like to do i like to go over the higher weighted attributes so we're gonna start out you get an 80 driving dunk on this build and 80 I feel like it's pretty good. You get some good dunk animations. And on this game, you don't really need like contact dunks and stuff because as long as you can get by your defender, you're going to be able to dunk the ball. And you kind I don't really see too many people like contact dunking people. Now, there probably are people out there doing that, but I haven't seen too many people contact dunking people. So we went with an 80 driving dunk. And with the 80, you're going to get bronze posterized. You're going to get bronze aerial wizard. So you will be able to catch lobs, you know. You're going to be able to make some stuff shake. But then on to the shooting, we got an 85 three ball and you're gonna get silver dead eye, bronze limitless range. You're gonna get silver set shot specialist and then bronze shifty shooter. Silver set shot specialist is a good badge. 85 three pointer is also a good rating. Um, I do like the 85 a lot. Um, getting that dead eye is pretty important, but having limitless range is really like the biggest thing. And you only need 83 for that, but 85 I feel like is just enough to take you over the top and allow the build to be able to shoot at a higher like consistency, you know what I mean? Um, but then we're gonna go down to the playmaking. You get an 82 pass accuracy. So I did make this build so that you can use it as like a secondary ball handler. You can play make with this build. You can put the ball in your hands and then, you know, try and go get your own bucket. But you're gonna get an 82 pass accuracy. With that, you're gonna get bronze versatile visionary. You're gonna get silver break starter and you're going to get gold dimer so you're definitely going to be helping your teammates out a lot with this um you can definitely change it up and i'm not telling you guys to make this build once again but this is just the build i came up with it's a template you can take this build and make it how you would like it but i think so far what i've been doing with this build and what i'm trying to do with this build which we'll get to is making it more of like an all-around lockdown build i feel like it's coming together pretty well but yeah, we got the 82 pass accuracy, gold dimer. Definitely will be able to put the ball in your hands. But then you're going to get an 81 ball handle. So you're going to get bronze ankle assassin. You're going to get silver handles for days. You're going to get hall of fame strong handle. And that badge low key is annoying. Like I can't even lie. That's a very annoying badge. Um, you can just dribble right into people and it'll give you an animation where you like blow by them. So it's a really good badge, but it's also really annoying. But with the 81 ball handle, you're also going to be able to unlock some really good signature styles so that way you can actually be able to dribble when you're not left out and um, not able to get some good sigs and not be able to move around with the ball because you're definitely gonna need some good sigs if you're gonna be a secondary ball handler. But then you got 70 speed with ball, so you're gonna get bronze lightning launch. Now this ain't the best. Once again, you're not a primary ball handler. Most people on their team, if they're making a lockdown, they're making a secondary ball handler, they're making it more so like very heavily defensive and still can score in certain ways. They're not making it like, oh, I'm gonna get the ball and I'm gonna be able to dribble around a screen and get a bucket or I'm gonna be able to create my own bucket like very easily. They're making their builds, especially if you're playing team ball, you're making it with a lot less ball handle. And as a two guard, I feel like this is kind of like where you would wanna go Reason being, because you're going to get a lot of defense on this build, and you still get the playmaking to go with it. But you get a 70 speed with ball, you're going to get bronze lightning launch, and that's more than enough for you to be able to go get a bucket. But on to the meat and potatoes of this build, you're going to get an 80 interior defense. Now, the defense on this build I really like. On um, that 80 interior defense, this is important, bro, because 
when you play hands up, that interior defense helps out a lot. People are making builds without interior and wondering why they're not getting stops. And I get there are people who are making builds with a lot of interior who still aren't getting stops, but it definitely helps to have it rather than not have it. And it's been like this for the past couple of years. Um, you definitely want to put some interior on your build. I'm a big advocate for interior defense, that hands up defense, making sure you're in the right position to get a contest. It definitely helps out a lot. But then you're going to get 95 perimeter defense. And this is just like, if you want to be honest, it's like overkill. But you're definitely going to be able to like box some people, bro. You're going to get Hall of Fame Challenger. You're going to get Gold On Ball Menace, Gold Pick Dodger, Gold Immovable Enforcer. Now, mind you, you're a two guard. You're not even the three. You're a two guard. But you're going to get Gold Immovable Enforcer. Hall of Fame off ball pest like the bill is gonna be able to box people you're gonna be able to stay with anyone you can guard ball you can play off ball like you can be around the court like literally everywhere um, if they need you to guard ball you can switch with your actual lockdown the guy who's not like a score if you have that on your team if you're playing with that type of team like maybe in the rec or 5v5 proven grounds or pro-am if you're playing with that type of team you can definitely switch with the lockdown it makes your whole defense as a unit a lot better so I do like having the high defense on this build at the two guard. But then to top that, you're gonna get 91 steel. So you're gonna get gold glove and gold interceptor. And we all know like steel isn't as broken as it used to be, but it's still like really good, especially if you have it at the gold level. You put your tier one, max plus one on one of these and it's gonna be hall of fame. Like you can't ask for too much. Or if you even get your plus five from being starter three, you could put them here and then you're gonna get Hall of Fame glove and Hall of Fame interceptor, put your max tier plus one and one of these will be legend. Like it's it's ridiculous what you can do. Um, but I do like having the high steel on a lockdown build, of course. If you're gonna be a lockdown, you gotta have the high steel. And this build is just gonna be able to be bumpy. You're gonna be able to get steals very easily. You're gonna be able to box people. But you know, to top it all off, my one of my favorite badges in the game, high flying denier. Bronze is all you need, bro. Like, you don't need higher than bronze. If your build is fast, your build's got some agility, bronze is more than enough. And that's against any build in the game, I swear to you. But the defense on this build, like, you see why this is a lockdown. It's a fire build. But you're going to get 70 offensive rebound, which is the wave right now. Everyone's going offensive rebound over defensive just because it's cheaper. But it's going to get you silver box out beast, and you got rebound chaser still, and you got 60 defensive rebound. So you'll be able to grab a board as a two guard, and if you grab a board, you got people running, guess what? You got the silver break starter to go with it. So the build is really nice. On to the physicals, we got 85 speed, so you're definitely fast. Like you're gonna be moving around the court very quickly. And then you got 87 agility. My max plus fives, or my cat breakers, would probably go to speed and agility. I try to max these out as much as possible. Being a lockdown, it's just gonna make you move around a lot quicker. But then you get 85 strength. So not only can you handle the ball, not only can you shoot, not only can you dunk, not only can you box people, not only do you have golden movable enforcer, you're gonna have silver brick wall. And this is just gonna help you, help you out a lot more on your team. Like whether you're playing threes, you could play twos with this build. You could definitely play ones with this build. It's gonna be a little bit harder to get a bucket, but if you're nice, you could definitely play ones with this build. You can be very annoying in the 1v1 court. But on the twos and the threes and then 5v5, like you're a great build to have on a team because you can spot up, you can still finish at the rack, you can play make, like you can do it all with this build. And that's what I was going for. And that 85 strength, like man, it's gonna make you real bumpy, keep you from getting back down. Like they can't put a big on you and they just back you down now. They're going to, but you have a better chance than your point guard getting back down. And then we got 65 vertical, not really helping too much, but you know, just, badge wise it helps out you get it's going to give you posterize on bronze aerial wizard on bronze and then your high flying denier of course but we're going to hit continue get the build name and what shades we got and we got shades of alex caruso joe dumars and dante divincenzo those are really good shades those are good guards good defensive guards um guards that can shoot the three ball not so much alex caruso but he's a finisher also but dante divincenzo i feel like this is the perfect build you have built a 3 and D 2 guard, so I really like the build name also. I don't think I've made one of these this year. 3 and D 2 guard, it's a fire build. Um, you guys let me know, is the build fire? Is the build trash? What would you do to make this build any better? Um, 
once again, I'm not telling you to make this build. I just think this is a great version of the lockdown build that I made and I want to put it out here for you guys. Um, like I said, let me know in the comment section, is it fire, is it trash? What would you do to make this build any better if it is trash or like, what other suggestions would you make to make this build better? Um, that's all I got for you guys. If you made it this far in the video, please hit the like button. I appreciate it a lot. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and turn on post notice so you don't miss an upload. We're uploading all the time. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.